Hello, this is Michaela, or Studious Octopus, and I'm just here, finally, doing my May 2016 UK Glossy Box. I unfortunately got mine slightly late, uh, not particularly Glossy Box's fault, because uh, you can follow the shipping and sort of tracking of your, even your Glossy Boxes, that's sort of why the, the shipping is like £3.25, I think, it's so it's secure. Uh, but my package was sent to another city near me and then it said it was missorted and then it said it was resorted so I, I have ended up getting mine about three days later I think than uh, most people generally get it but it's finally here here we go I'm going to be unboxing it now I know this is a special limited edition sort of travel edition and we should also have our mascaras that we picked so I'm looking forward to that as well so I'm just gonna get into it now oh that's not coming up at all okay <laughs> so here's the lovely glossy box I'm gonna hold that up close and see if it will focus so it's another one that's sort of um this looks like it's mine's London. I think they were at different cities. There was a choice of four or five. It's also not flat. The black line sort of has this raised texture, which is actually very interesting. Uh, and then there's more patterns on the side. And you can see who the design is by here, designed by Omi or OMY. And it also has design on the bottom. So that's actually quite interesting. I kind of like that. Uh, let's see what we've got inside. We've got our usual bits of paper, which I'll get to in a second. And then, yes, my wrapping colour this time is green, which is quite cool. And here are my box contents. <laughs> You can see on the top there, there's corn. I have been seeing everyone has been getting popcorn online, which looks very cool. Uh, and a whole bunch of lovely items. So I'll just read the card and then we'll get into them one at a time. So this is the Glossy Getaways edition for May 2016. Dear Glossy, city breaks are now as popular as beach breaks. So we've dedicated this month's collector's edition boxes to our favorite urban destinations. The four collectible boxes depict London, Paris, New York, or Berlin, all home to their very own glossy box. As imagined by the uber cool illustrators, Omi or OMY, I'm not quite sure which way you'd say it, uh, studio. Of course, City Breaks call for more than the usual bikini and sunglasses. While we'll leave your wardrobe to you, we have all your beauty, beauty travel companions covered. Every Glossy will be receiving two full-size makeup products, including one of the best mascaras around, as well as the City Skin Essentials that will keep your complexion healthy and hydrated and protected as you see the sights. Now all you need is your ticket. This is Evie Lethal from the Editorial Director of Glossy Box. And we have this extra side thing here, which is hashtag selfie in the city, which is what this little bit of cut out paint card is for. So whatever city you find yourself within, whether it's home or abroad, take a cityscape inspired selfie and tag at Glossy Box UK using hashtag selfie in the city to win a luxury weekend to Berlin. So that's quite cute. I've seen a couple of people snapping with these already on Instagram. Uh, and then we have our product, which you can see here. And it just seems to be the five, it's considering the five in here. And these aren't actually listed on the front, but this is a nice extra. I'll cover this first. So this is proper corn done properly. I got the sweet and salty flavor. I have already actually tried a bunch of these. My favorite is the coconut one. If you ever get a chance to have it, it's actually delicious if you like these sort of flavored popcorns. And that's quite a cute, nice little extra. So let's see what I have. From the top, we have this little cute mini here. And this is the Cetaphil Gentle Cleanser. There's very good reason this gentle, soap-free cleanser has a whole host of advocates, from top dermatologists to celebs, 
such as Alexa Chung and Olivia Wilde. It's suitable for any skin type, even the most sensitive, and soothes and nourishes skin as it removes every ounce of makeup. Massage into your skin and rinse or remove with tissue. So this is one of our sort of deluxe size samples. This is 29 milliliters, which isn't the full size. There are two sizes of full size you can get. Uh, and this is full size is worth $8.99 and I'll have the price breakdown in the corner. I'm actually really, really glad I got this. I've seen sort of people have different combinations of items online. I have actually been wanting to try the set fill cleansers and moisturizers for a while and yes the point of it is that they are sort of cream based formulas this is fill like all the way up to the top what is that these are very very gentle cream based formulas that are suitable for anyone and they do actually have lots and lots of fans of them it's a lovely, rich, creamy cleanser that you work into your skin and then you remove that. So I am looking forward to trying this out. I'm not sure how generous 30 milliliters is compared to the other sizes. We'll have to see how it goes. I suspect you'd get a fair few uses out of this. Probably enough to take it with you on holiday. But yes, like I said, very happy that I got this sample because I've been interested to try this company's products anyway. So that's one of our three sample size ones. Uh, next up is this lip product here. This is the Absolute New York Velvet Lippy. Mine is in the shade AVL01 Rumba, which is this sort of pinky looking shade, unless everyone got the same shade. Uh, this pretty lippy glides over lip, delivering a slick of highly pigmented color which then sets into a plush matte finish. We've selected some of our favorite on-trend hues for the season. And these are full size. Is this actually full size? Oh, they've done that thing this time where you can't particularly tell which one's full size and which one isn't. This might be full size. That looks about full size to me, which is worth £4.93. And this is six grams or 0.2 fluid ounces. I'll have the breakdown in the corner if it's not. So this is safety sealed all the way down. I'll just open it. Well, it's, it's unwrapped there. It's got pretty standard looking packaging. Uh, I also think we've had absolute New York before. I'm just gonna pull that out there. And yes, you have the quite standard slanted doe foot applicator. There we go, and I'll just do a swatch here. And yes, this is a very pretty pinkish... I'm trying to sort of see under the lighting. I think it's like a pinky coral. I'm not sure how well it's coming up. But yeah, that's a pinky coral. It's a very pretty and very wearable. I have seen... I think they did a sneak preview where there was six shades, and some of them admittedly did look like they would be a bit less wearable than others, particularly depending on your skin tone. I think I have one of the more forgiving and wearable shades. And this set is, it, it is a buttery matte lip cream. So I'm assuming this dries on, but that's quite cute. I like the color and it does look very travel friendly and you do get a nice amount in there. Uh, next up is this item here. This is the Hawaiian Tropic Satin Protection SPF 30. Whether you're off on a city break or catching the rays on a staycation, this water resistant formula will shield your skin from UVA and UVB rays while helping to prolong that sun glist glow. Vitamin C and E leave your skin super soft and the scent will transport you to sunnier climes. Again, it says full size is 30, $13.99. I know you can actually buy them this size, but obviously they do do bigger sort of variations in size products that you can get. This one is 100 milliliters, which again is actually a good size. This could be a, you could use this up in one holiday break, which again is probably the point. But yes, yeah, so this is a proper full sun lotion with sort of a radiance finish. And yes, it's quite nice to get SPF 30, being quite fair skinned, I like to make sure I wear SPF. And this is a great type of product to get for this type of year. 
just seeing if it says anything extra on the back. Protects, softens and leaves skin glowing, oil free, non greasy and yeah it's enriched with vitamin C and vitamin E. So it's also actually going to be good for your skin. I'll just put this on the other hand here. And it has a very standard looking sort of um, sun lotion formula where it's quite thick. It will sit on top of your skin for a little while and then it, it will um, sort of sink in I assume but it will provide you with that sun protection. It has a very strong smell. I'm not sure if I would describe it as unpleasant but it's very distinct. It's sort of a traditional creamy smell and I can feel yeah that it's starting to get tacky and dry down on my hand here. So it's not one that takes ages and ages and ages to dry in and it's also quite right in that my skin does not feel oily or residuey because I don't like that about um, sun lotions. I don't like the ones that are very very residuey. I also tend to find that style makes my eyes kind of water. I'm not sure if this is sort of a you can use it any way you want to style one but uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, what does this say? Apply 20 minutes before sun exposure, three tablespoons for the whole body, reapply. It doesn't warn you about using it on your face, so I'm assuming it's a, a general purpose all over one. But yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I think that is a very appropriate type of product for this type of year, time of year. And it finally actually feels now like it's getting to the warmer weather because here in uh, the north of the UK, we had snow last month which was interesting, but it's finally actually reliably being summer, sun, sunny outside, so this is a good item to have. There we go. Uh, the next item is this one here, the Be Good Youth Enhancing Plump and Firm Moisturiser. This nourishing moisturiser works to plump, smooth and soften your complexion, leaving it dewy and glowing with luminosity. Gently massage a pea-sized amount into your face morning and evening after cleansing. And it says full size is $23.50. Looking at this, I'm imagining this isn't full size. This is sort of a deluxe travel size sample again. So that's sort of appropriate for traveling. Uh, and this looks interesting. So this is made by British Bees, made in Great Britain for Be Good Enterprises. So that is that this is actually made with honey. Uh, yeah, it says it's got honey in it, shea butter, coconut, raspberry oil, beeswax. So it sounds like it's full of lots of good things on the back there. And it is a sort of firming and moisturizing face cream, which yes, it's to improve the visible shine, signs of aging and leave skin with a beautiful youthful luminosity use morning and evening after cleansing so again like the other products i am assuming the idea is that you have your travel mini cleanser and your travel mini moisturizer so you can take both of these and just go which is quite a huge sweet idea uh, this one wasn't safety sealed it has a sort of standard size and shape applicator slash sort of dispenser it's sort of the same size as the Honey Silk face uh, serum we had a while ago. Eventually that might focus. It's got quite cute, cute packaging as well, I like that. Let's put a little on my hand. I think you can see it there. It is just a standard white lotion. And again, like the um, the SPF, it does have a stronger smell than perhaps some lotions, but it's sort of just a sort of beauty lotion-y type smell rather than being perfumed to smell like candy or fruits. And again, that rubbed in really, really easily and didn't leave any residue. So all of these things that are for your skincare. And I think these three are the these three are sort of the deluxe size travel items and you can get sort of bigger versions of them yourself which is all of your skincare stuff and then we have the makeup which are our full size ones which leads me to the last item which is here this is the Revlon mascara I opted for the Revlon ultimate all-in-one I, I got the email that asked you which one you wanted and this is the one that I asked for 
And this month we gave Glossies the chance to choose one of Revlon's five amazing new mascaras to add to their lash wardrobe. Each one is designed for a different look, from volume boosting to lash lengthening. If you're new to Glossy Box or missed the chance to make your choice, we've cho chosen one for you. Your lashes can thank us later. And this is full size. This is worth £9.99. It's also nicely safety sealed. It also has a sticker seal here, which is the ingredients. And it actually means you know that no one has twisted it open because you actually have to break it to open it. And there we go. So it's this, uh, you can also see it's not a sort of standard shape. It's this quite strange, not quite round, sort of ergonomic design. It's kind of interesting. Uh, size wise, it's 8.5 millilitres, which is possibly on the higher side of slightly average for a mascara. And then we have what is the all in one mascara here, which is on with this teeny teeny tiny wand which I thought looked very interesting. It is one of the ones where I haven't tried this style of mascara because it had all the sort of types that you would expect. There was quite a, I think there was quite a long thin one, sort of a more traditional looking one, a silicone type one. I think so. Sort of the different varieties that you'd expect. But I have never tried a mascara that has a teeny teeny tiny wand. Uh, so I'll be interested to see how I get on with this Revlon mascara. So that was the box in its entirety, which I think was very interesting. We had the three sort of travel size skincare minis that will do your cleansing, moisturizing and SPF. And then we have the two nice full size makeup items. And these are, I think what lots of people consider their what you could get away with wearing day to day, a little bit of mascara and a little something on your lips. So I can really see that this sort of collection that I've received would be really good to just go, I'm taking these five items with me somewhere and I don't need anything else. I think that's a really, really cool idea. Plus the added bonus of uh, having a snack. Uh, and I'm just gonna go away and talk up how much my box is worth and work out what wasn't full size and sort of what proportion you're getting smaller. Uh, so I'll see you again in just a second. Hello and we're back. So I've worked out what's full size and what isn't, what you can actually uh, buy as is and what you can't. So first off, the Cetaphil cleanser, you can't actually buy this in this size. This is a genuine sort of deluxe sample that you're getting in this box. It is 29 milliliters. Compared to the first size you can get, which is 236 milliliters, they're very odd uh, measurements. This is worth £1.10 proportionately. They do also do an even bigger version of the cleanser, which is 473 milliliters. And proportionate to that, this is actually only worth 92p. But again, it depends how you do your sums. I think £1.10 is the fairer measurement. I assume actually most people buy the 230 gram milliliter version because that's sort of more standard cleanser size and you'll work through that at a good pace. Uh, which I am going to be interested to see if I want to try out after trying out this deluxe sample. Our other sort of sample-ish sized product was this Be Good Travel Moisturizer. They do actually sell this version full size, uh, this version which they sell as a travel size version for £9 compared to the price that they have listed here, which is the £23.50 that one is for a 50 milliliter size version so i'm not sure why they're putting the price there and representing it as a sample this is a travel size that you can actually buy from the good themselves it's worth nine pound when you buy it this size which is pretty good value i think looking at it when you work it out proportionately the 50 milliliter version is cheaper per milliliter so if you like this and you're going to rebuy it buy the 50 milliliter version you get more for your money proportionately but that's nice i actually like the look of this i will be interested to try it out again our other item that we're getting sort of sold as a 
travel size project and I thought I, I uh, was right about this one because I said you can just buy these. You can just buy these this size. Uh, 100 milliliters is the smallest size, one of the smallest sizes that they sell. This is worth $5.99. So again, it's a case of they are putting the price of $13.99 down for some reason. You can buy one of their products from this line for $13.99. That is for the 180 milliliter version. But you can buy this 100 milliliter version from them for $5.99. So that should actually be the price that Glossybox put on the card. And I'm not sure why they didn't, why they thought it would um, look better. Uh, and for this one, actually, if you work out the milliliter value, this size, the 100 milliliter size, is more value per milliliter, which is very interesting. You don't often see that. It's usually that it's better to buy the bigger sizes. But for these, actually, you want to buy the smaller sizes. Uh, and again, my experience of going through SBFs, uh, you generally don't go through the bigger sizes of containers in one summer as a single person. Uh, and you are actually supposed to buy new ones after they, after a while, they do expire and they are less efficient as they get older. So I think buying the smaller versions is probably better for you anyway, because they're going to work when you own them the first time and then you run out and you get a new one next summer. So I think that is probably a better idea. And then these two items are full size. They are the price that they were stated as. Uh, the Absolute New York one is one that has a American price when you actually buy it. It's $6, but I'm just gonna go with the converted price on the card since the exchange rates do change and it depends where you look. So my total box value that I have down is 31 pound and one pence. It is a mid-range box value, perhaps slightly lower than average now that the average has moved so high considering we've had some really, really high box values. But I actually think in terms of items received, this set is a really good set in terms of a nice selection of items that are all gonna work together that are really good for this type of year uh, and that are all things that I think I would use. I think I'm more like happy with this selection of items while it's cheaper than you know getting a toothpaste or a set of temporary tattoos. These are things that I think most people would be happy to get and will actually use. So I really really actually like this month's box. If you're curious this uh, proper cone, it's the 14 gram bag, which you can't actually buy individually. The only place I've seen these sold is you buy these smaller bags in a multi-pack. The multi-packs are worth about two pound, a little under two pound. So you can work out that the value of your bag of corn was 30p. It is mostly a nice little extra. Maybe if you were go are planning on going somewhere, you could stick this in your bag. But I think most people are probably going to open their box and eat the corn. But it's a nice corn. I've had this before. It's really lovely. I'm happy to get that. Uh, just a quick aside, I wanted to actually quickly mention, we did actually have quite a few codes this time on the card. So from the top, we have, I'll see if I can force this to focus. Might have to put it in the below. So we have a card here, which is 20% off any Hawaiian Tropic using the code Glossy Sun. We have the code here for five pound off when spending 15 pound at be good which is may gloss so if you wanted to buy the full size item of the moisturizer you would actually get it for 18 pound 50 making it even better value three for the price of two and save two pound on lipsticks that's just an in-store offer that's not one with a code the same as you have a code here for the set of fill ones if you actually have the card you'll be able to cut this out so this is two pound if you wanted to buy the full price set of fills which i would i'll have to decide if i actually like them when i try it uh, and we also have a sneak peek here in tiny print we're going to be getting a multitasking lip and cheek tint 
from Swedish mineral makeup brand Emite, who I think we've had before, and I think they were all right actually. So that is all the extra information on the card. So that was the box for May 2016. I think this is technically our last spring month and we're finally getting nicer weather here where I live. I really, really like this box. I'm very happy with the contents in it. This is also my 24th glossy box. This is finally the end of me doing it for a second year running and I've been really happy with the box value and the box contents. I think overall over the two years, I am going to be doing, I think, another glossy box in review and we're going to, I'm going to compare it to the first year and see how the services maybe changed, if we got more value or less value in the first year versus the second year. I'll be interested to see how that goes. But that is the video for now. I'm really happy with the box. I hope you all enjoy your box. I'll be interested to hear what you all thought of it. I know there were a different selection of items that you could get. Uh, but yeah, that was the May 2016 glossy box uh, and I'll see you again next time. Stain for me I think looks a little nicer with this wet formula. Uh, my feelings on it so hello again and we're back playing Simon Max 201 Ice Station Santa. So we're continuing 